Good morning, it's Jim from Jot's Journals Creations or Paints, Pots and Paper and Jot's Journals Creations. I don't even know where I'm from. I um, hope you're all well today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've got my new little journal. It's not a big one this time, so it shouldn't take forever. Um, and I've sort of done the cover. What I'll do is I'll show you. Um, Oh, and by the way, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a cover. It's a bee journal, as you might have guessed. Um, I'll just show you that first. I've got a little way with sorting it out. Now, inside, we've got this lovely broderie anglais with two pockets. And there's lace around the inside. And it's on like a, um, I suppose, like a linen -y sort of cottony fabric on the inside. And uh, outside... It's lace around the outsides and it's all stitched. It's all been stitched all the way around and the centre's been stitched. It's a, a single signature journal and um, I've put the main piece on the front, that's your focal point, and just decorated it a bit. I might add more to the cover, I'm not sure yet. And I haven't decided on how I'm going to fasten it yet, the closure. But I have sorted out the signature and I've been sitting here trying to get it because they're different size pieces of paper I'm trying to get it so I've just got it so it's all in place and I think that'll be okay so I'm going to clip it when I can find my clips um, I'll try these out see how these do Well, we've got sunshine here today, um, but it's not warm. And weather keeps messing about. It's, you know, one minute it's hot, next minute it's cold. It doesn't seem to know what it wants to do. And I think, well, certainly in this country, it seems to be what's happening all the time. Um, so I'm just checking that I've got my pages in the go. But... And go further, yeah, get him a bit more central. I've got this lovely central page of a bumblebee. And I'm just putting him there. I think that should be okay. I'm going to have a go at holding it in place with these simply because I can't find my other ones. Well, I can find them, but it means I have to root through stuff, and I don't really want to do that, so... Not in the mood for rooting through today. There, so that should be okay. Now, I've already measured my centre, and... I've done it according to the actual hard cover that's underneath because that's where I'm going to be stitching through. Got some bits of flick on it. Um, so that, if I take it from about there, so there it worked out about eight and a quarter from there, yeah. And so I've done about four and a, uh, four and an eighth in the middle, and then I've just done two inches either side of that and that should catch up all the pages even the smaller ones and it should be pretty secure so now I've just got to find the center of this and make sure I get it in the right way up I'm just going to find the center of this which all together it's what's that eight sorry I don't know if you can see that Eight and a half, and oh, looks like another. Where are we? Another eighth. So you've got eight and five eighths. So the centre is four and two and a half eighths. So if I find that, just here, and I think I might need. 
something darker than this to mark this. Um, trust me to pick a black centre. I don't know if I've got a gel pen, white pen. I've got a white pen, so I don't know. I don't see what sort is. I'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll try. Alright, so now. Four. And what do I say? Uh, eight. And five eighths. So that's four. And two point five eighths. So we've got four. And two. Point five eight, so it should be round about there. Uh, just about, just about shows up on that bee's body. And then I want two inches on either side of that. So if I bring it up to the three, that should do. And sorry, I've got the light in my eyes for a minute. Sorry if the light's reflecting off my ruler to you. Three. So we want there, which is on the two inches down, and up here. And now I've got to return to my pencil so I can see it. Three inches on the one, and then on the five. So I think those are where I'm going. I can just about see them. So I've marked them on the other one, on the cover. So I'm just going to thread. I've chosen this lovely golden waxed thread. <clears throat> because I thought it would go with the lovely colours of the bee journal. I'm hoping this needle will be okay with this. About this, it's a bit not looking properly. That's it. Right, so I'll pull that through a bit. I like wax thread, but it doesn't run so smoothly, but it usually catches up a bit stronger. Right, so I'm going to use my ball. And get it. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So I've got it through there. to do the others as well first I think before I start stitching I don't like having to force the needle through when there's nothing there to force it through sorry I was out of shot there I mean I think it's a bit a bit tough but it will come through I'll probably not stabbing myself and bleeding all over it but it will come through you will there you go. Here it comes. Well, this is tougher than I thought. I didn't realise I'd got so much in here. If I'd have thought I could have used my big bite for this one, I didn't think that it would need it because I didn't think it was that thick. But uh, there you go. Live and learn. Ouch. <laughs> no, not bleeding. I don't care about me bleeding. I just don't want to bleed all over the cover. Sorry if I move about. I'm sorry about that, but it's just... Just waiting to get stabbed in the finger. I shouldn't do that. No, no. She says, and then it will get me, won't it? Yeah, that's through there. Get through. Gosh, I don't know what I've got in this that's making it so tough. Really, I don't. Don't recall having anything particularly. Perhaps there's just quite a lot of pages. I know there's more than I'd normally put in a 
single signature, but I thought it would um, just make a bit more of it, you know. You don't just a few pages in your journal, do you? And I wanted to put in plenty of journaling space as well. There we go, that's come through there. Also, the cover's easier to get through than the signature. Right, so now do I want the... I don't know if I want the threads on the inside or the outside. Um, got a feeling I want to put some beads on the outside, so it's going on, going in here first. Whoops, get away. Everything else trying to get in on the act, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Now, I've got it upside down, I've got to remember that, otherwise I'll end up with it, the whole thing upside down. How are you going to play today? For me, thank you, you are. Now, does that look as if it's the yeah, other so. I think it's all in. I'm going to find a little, excuse me while I stand up, just going to put a little, a little clip, I don't have those little tiny ones on the desk, but I think I've probably been a bit keen on pulling up, excuse me a minute, sorry about this, excuse my arm, if I don't put a little clip on the end of it, I know what's going to happen, and it looks like I've been a bit over ambitious with my putting things away and um, yeah oh that one will do it's a bit big but it will do when I can get this bit of paper clip off it I have got some smaller ones but this one will do I'll probably look after the video and find a load of them sitting there staring at me there they are sweet guys right so I'm gonna put this little clip oh that's nice goes doesn't it <laughs> him on the end. I wonder what that was. Not noise. I can't even speak. I wonder what that noise was for a minute and it's my washing machine spinning out. So. Right, so I've got to remember how to do this now because I'm doing it on the outside, aren't I? Do I still go in there? That's a thought. Um, sorry, I've forgotten how to do this for a minute. Bottom one. At least this fabric makes it nice and easy to see the um, the holes. Oh, gosh, it's going through a lot easier than I thought. Normally it's a right palaver. Okay, so I want to put some pretty beads from the back. And I hope I'm doing this right. And if I'm not, I'm pretty sure it'll still stay okay. And just make sure I don't go through the thread. Threads. I don't know how long I want them yet. I know I've got some ideas on what I want to put on them. So. That should be plenty long enough. side of the middle thread, make it nice and tight, now where am I going, right 
I ever left. Oh, I have to think. I have to headlock on. I've got a headlock a sieve. That feels nice and tight. Let's just check inside. I don't want it all going silly and flopping all over the place when the pages are turned. Oh, that's that. I'm going to do a left over right. Right over left, that should do it. Oops, excuse that. I'm going to leave these quite long. As I say, I'm not certain yet what. Yeah, I'm going to leave them about that long. I don't know yet what I'm putting there. Those bits can go in the bin because they're not long enough to do anything much with. I know, wasteful. Right, that's, right, let's squash that down a bit. And I'm going to have a quick swig of my fruit tea. Oh, that's better. It's that lovely cherry, of course. And my doctor's put me on some new medication. Fingers crossed it works. Apparently it takes about a month to work. But uh, it does make you very thirsty. So I'm drinking plenty of fruit tea because it's caffeine free. And I don't mind drinking water, but I do prefer drinking water a lot when it's really, <coughs> excuse me, when it's really summer. But yes, yeah, so I'm trying to keep hydrated. There, yeah, so there's the, the beginning of it. I hope you like it. Um, I'll go through very quickly some of the pages. Now this first page is one that I painted myself. I was just doodling around with some paints and I thought, oh, wonder if I could do an edging and it's like little forget-me-nots really. I thought I'll do a little edging and when I'd done that round there, I found this and made it into a pocket because I thought it looked really nice. So yeah, so that's a, that's the front and obviously something will be going in the pocket there. And that's quite nice and tight. I've stitched it down the centre as well and stitched it either side and along the bottom. And it is, you know, because otherwise if they're too loose, things fall out and it's so annoying. So, let's see. First page out. And there's journaling space. There is quite a lot of journaling space. Let's just get my big scissors out of the way. My fabric scissors. And uh, it's really pretty. Um trying to think where I got the I can't think exactly where I got the um, digital from but I will put it in the description box below when I've had a look this is some uh, paper that I decorated myself um, and that that was fun to do I'll do that one day on camera because I, I need to do some more but that was fun to do, so I thought that could go in, because it's, it's natural, it's nature and that. And we've got this page, got Busy Bee on it, and some beautiful, oh, some beautiful bees in this. And there's another page, and I'm keeping to all these yellows and honey colours, and also the, the odd splash of blue that's in here, I'll be um, reflecting in the decoration that I do. There's more bees. That's a lovely journaling page, but with the, I just think it's so beautiful. I love it. And that page, because it's got quite a lot of green now, I thought I'll put this thicker page in. And that will probably be good for taking a pocket or something. Uh, there's another one here. Entomology. Naturalist Library. More beautiful bees. This decorated paper I bought well, it's a lovely journaling spot there. This decorated page I bought online. I um, think it might have been off Amazon. Either Amazon or eBay it would have been. Once again, I can't remember it, but I would if I saw it. So I can, if, if I get a chance, I'll look it up and I'll also put that in the description box because it's lovely paper. It really is nice. Really pretty. And I know they do lots of different designs on there. And there's another lovely bee. And this is a page from Henry Terry, I think. His um, wildflower 
journal. There's more journaling space there. And that's the other side of that. Lovely, lovely page there. More of that pretty journaling space. That's a nice piece of, it's like a printed um, book of old paper, but it, it does look very effective. This is lovely, once again, some tones of blue and some pale green in it, which I like. I really like that, because you can add other bits to go. A um, bit more journaling page, and this is a piece that I need to do something on that side because it's very white, but it's from, oh, crumbs. Um, this is a museum in London. Um, no, I can't, uh, oh, Victoria and Albert Museum from their um, gift shop they do packs of paper that you can buy and uh, yeah I think that's where that was from once again, once again I will look it up and I will list it below and I thought I'll put some music paper in because I think music always goes with nature and I mean look at these gorgeous pages there's another page I've got to do something with but that side just went in so lovely it's nice and bright and that was from an old paper pad that I've had for years. If I can find it and find the name on it, I'll let you know, but I'm not sure if they're still going. A bit more uh, music paper. It's more of that pretty stuff. There's some more of the Henry Terry book, which just, it just goes so lovely. And journaling space. Journaling space. This is from the Henry Terry book, and I've folded it over and made it into a little pocket there, a little side pocket. And obviously, there's the other side of it. More of that really pretty journaling space, and then we've got the centre. Then, of course, the back, very similar. This piece I've just attached a piece of that. It's more of that paper from that company that did the other printed paper that I showed you and uh, they also print on book pages and things like that so I rather like that and I've left that as it is for now because I do like that and I should probably just find something to put down here it's a bees round a hive I think it's a hive is it or a skep is it a skep or something those are called those baskets for bees something like that isn't it I don't know if anybody knows let me know but I, I think it is a skep isn't it something like that I know that the holes in the brick balls that they used to have in the Victorian times were called bee bowls but I think the basket that they actually catch the bees in is a skep and this is all um well it's predominantly honeybees I should imagine a few bumblebees have made their way into it as well but it's uh, predominantly bumblebee, uh, honeybees. And that's just uh, it's the same picture as on the cover, but it's a whole page. And so there's blank pages I've really got to do something with, but I don't know yet what. But it all goes really, really prettily together. go through that. There you go. That, isn't that pretty? That's just some tea dyed. And that's the back. I'm not sure what I'm putting on the back yet, if anything. I probably will put something on the back. But I'm just not sure what. Yeah, that's, that's nice and tight. So I thought that looked a bit loose inside just then, but I think it's okay. Right, so what I thought is just make a quick start. Now I've got that in, so I don't want to keep you here too long. Um, I've got a box, this is all the um, fussy cuts and ephemera and things that I've cut out. A couple of them are from another couple of um, beaded digitals, but I've got a load of stuff in here. I've got some lots of tags that have got to be finished off with um, lace and things at the top and some little pockets and things but what I thought I'd do is start off, I've got some 
nice little corner pockets in here. So I thought I'd get a couple of those out and just start off putting those in. And these are lovely little journal cards. And there's lots of these bees, and they, they may well find themselves on the cover. I mean, they're, they're just absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So anyway, there's lots of those. And I'm just going to dig out a couple of those. These little corner tucks I'd like to get in. There we go, there's a couple more here. how many of those I've got. I've got some um, belly bands as well and as I say little envelope pocket type things to go in. There's, look, I've got a lot of, I mean these are really lovely aren't they? And they're just lovely little tags and I've put some bee, well honeycomb paper on the backs of some of them. Oh, this little bee wants to get in there, you can come into it later mate. As soon as I've got any more of the little corner tucks. Okay, but that's not backed. That was not backed, but it might be okay. Let's quickly check that there's no more. But we'll start with those anyway. Start getting those in. Let's pop that up there out of the way. And uh, decide where I not want them. I'm not doing inking particularly on this. I may do some of the edges if they're a bit white. But other than that, I won't be. I decided to keep it fresh. Oh, it's good. I'm going to have another drop of my tea. Oh, I decided to keep it fresh. Because most of it is quite sort of muted anyway with the coffee dye and that but yeah so and a lot of some of these pages i don't want to hide the whole pages because they're too pretty so i thought perhaps some of these corner tucks could go on those i've got the pocket there lots of journaling pages see if one of these will go nicely with that on the other side, doesn't it? Go nice to do that. No, they're off the off the other side. I didn't think of that because I'm silly. on there. I might give that a quick ink just round the edges, just a few bits, but I'm not going to, you know, go to town and get it all because I don't think it needs it. So yeah, I'm going to pop that one there. And here's my beacon 3-in-1 and hope that it works. Hasn't been out for a couple of days, so let's hope it doesn't play me up. Come on, come on. I hope you can't hear my washing machine going too much. I've been wanting to do a bee journal for some time. As you know, I, I love nature and all my journals are based on, most of them are based on the natural world. The old fashioned one and that um, art one that I did, but I prefer the natural world ones. That's my 
favourite subject. That's that one on. I don't think that's going to stick on to anything. Just pop something in in case. Just in case. And um, now I've got to be careful with these, I've got to have one. No, this one goes outside as well, doesn't it? I, I tell you, I'm going totally around the bend. Why did I think they all went the other way? Who knows? It's quite nice now. I'll definitely go a bit further through. Mm. I don't want to put it on a journaling page, really. This side page is like mm. Excuse that scratching, that's my dog once again. I think one of these, that would look nice because it reflects the, reflects the um, central image, but doesn't obscure it at all. So I'm gonna pop this in there. Excuse my croaky voice. Well, I've always got a bit of a croaky voice, haven't I? But um, it's where the uh, pills are drying my throat out it's making it a bit worse <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's just a side effect that wears off I'm, apparently they, they do take they take about they take about four weeks maybe a bit longer to work but I'm already on medication of the same kind it's just a different name and they use this one as like, a, if that doesn't work completely, this one's like a backup to boost it. And you know, I went to see the neurologist. When did I go to see him? Thursday. Really nice man. I've been waiting over a year to get to see him. But for such is life here in the NHS. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's given me these. The backup, I think they've helped a little bit already, but I, if they have, it's probably because I'm already on the other ones that are the same kind of thing. And then I didn't ink that, did I? I don't think it'll notice. I don't think it'll notice. No, just going to look at that when the journal's full up with all of the lovely, pretty things. Not sticking to anything underneath. So, and I could embellish that later, perhaps with a little bit of lace or something. I just want to get it started. Yeah, you should be okay. See if I can get maybe this one in somewhere. That's a journaling paint on the wrong side, isn't it? You can see how this is going to end up, can't you? <laughs> it's, no, it won't. No, it won't. I'm not going to let it end up dreadful. Hopefully. That may be there. Um, Quite nice there, isn't it? The flowers and the bee. Um, not sure. Not sure. Uh, you're at the back now, James, so you've got to make up your mind. What have I got on there? Which one of those pages is a bit more yellowy? Oh, no, that one. 
Yeah, I think it goes better on there. I'm going to remember to ink this one because it is pretty white. I'm on the edges. So I'm just going to so I'm get this one in and one more in. And then I'm going to have to call it a day because I haven't got an awful lot of time today and I want to get a lot done. But I thought I'd come along and show you what I've started working on. I have got another journal that I'm about to start on and it's in, hopefully it's going to be in a similar vein to Rachel's at Roxy Creations. I love the way, oh excuse my stomach, <laughs> oh you didn't hear that too loud. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be in the way, in a similar vein to Rachel's at Roxy Creations. I just love the way that she uses fabrics and things in her journals. So yeah, that's the plan. It won't be a huge one, but oh, I'm getting all, no, don't get more stuff up with glue. I like that one on there, I think that goes really nicely. Just a tiny bit of glue went over there. No, 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 you can't stick there. That's it. That one's in. I think this. This one should be fine now. I'll pop that in there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna one of these that needs backing so that can go till next time. Let's give this a quick ink and see where I can put him. So if you've got a crafting day today on being Sunday or Are you planning to be busy doing other things? Oh, that looks nice in there, actually. Um, yeah, I plan to do some more crafting. I've got some more washing to do. But I mean, that, it's just washing, isn't it? It's not as important as crafting. Who cares about housework? Oh, I do love that on there. Oh, um, let's have a look. I don't think it'll go on. Oh, all right. Oh, oh yes, I like it on there. But that offset, that, that goes beautifully. I like that. And have I? Yeah, I have inked it a bit. Have another, have it another quick. Let's see that'll do. That will do. And yeah, I'm going to pop that on there. Sorry, I tend to sort of lean back. I when I work, I'm normally sort of leaning back and doing things over my lap rather than over the desk. It's probably why I get so covered in glue and paint and things, but it's just a habit which I can't seem to get out of. So then I tend to lean back when I've got the camera going and forget I've taken it totally out of shot from you guys. So I'll come out. That's it. I'm making this awkward for myself because I'm leaning on the desk. Let's put you on the corner there. I do love that. I love that. I wish I'd put more of those green pages in there. Oh well. Too late. I do think I want I will stop in a minute and I will let you go I just just feel the um, the need to put a bee on there because it is so pretty I don't want to grab that much 
to the spice. Just on A B. Bumbling B. Well it's not a bumblebee, it's a it's a honeybee. I think. Am I think uh am I unsure? Yeah, I'm just about on just a bit big. No. I quite like that with the greens actually, I'm going to ink that because it is pretty white. Okay. I just want to get rid of some of that white because I don't particularly want any stark white in the journal. And, um, Top on that glue quickly. There it goes again. Quickly glue him in. If I've got oh, that's an empty one. That's why I had the other one out. Let's use some of this. Worked myself in a corner again, haven't I? And being careful to go from the inside out with this one because you've got lots of fiddly bits on the edge, and if you go the other way, you're going to tear them. And I think yeah, this one's going to sit down here. I do. Use my head if it gets in the way. Try not to. Nobody wants to see that. Let's see, let's pop them there. might find a way of sneaking a bit more of this dark green in because I absolutely love it in this journal. It just goes so well. Right, let's just take these pages out. They're more of the journal pages that I may or may not use later. Right, so, it's a quick look. We've got it sewn in. Nice little corner tuck there. And the next one we've got the little, I'm not sure what it is, it's like a little honey pot case or, or yeah, pretty whatever it is. Another nice little pocket there on my favourite green, green paper. And then I went further through, didn't I? And I popped one on the centre page to coordinate with that. And then did I put another one in? I did. I think I did, I'm not certain. You know, I don't. Oh yes, another little one in there. And that will need something on it to decorate it. But, but yeah, so there we go. That's the, the start of it anyway. And um, <clears throat> I'll try and get back shortly and I'll either be working on this again or I'll be showing you the start of the other one I'm thinking of doing. I'm not too sure the theme of it yet. That's why I can't really say much about it apart from the fact that it's going to be in a totally different style to this. Because as I say, I wanted it to be like 
bit like uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations does because I've always wanted to do one like hers. So, so there we go. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, take care, everybody. Enjoy your crafting today. And I hope you've got a bit of sunshine and perhaps a bit more warmth than, we, than we've got here in the southeast. But I'm going to go now and refresh my throat, I think. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for joining me and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.